How you doing guys? Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. A quick friendly reminder that 90% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and most importantly, of course, enjoy the video. So it is Sunday 19th of November, coming into my 15th week. I'm gonna be on cardiology for the week. There's so much happening in this week, which is why I'm really excited to do a week in the life. And I thought I'd start now, prepping the meals, making a veg vegetarian lasagna. I'm not vegetarian, but why not? Thought I'd give it a go. We've got Simmores this week. I've got a rotation cardiology. We've got to do some uh, Gamsa tutoring as well. And um, so I'll be doing that this evening. Lots going on, big week. Let's get after it. Logic that you had from the beginning, which is brilliant, which was the potential kinetic energy. So it's the total energy. I've been tutoring the Gamsat since first year, and it is a great way to make money without committing many hours of your week to it. People often ask if it is possible to work while studying medicine. It definitely depends on circumstance and the type of student you are. If you choose to work, you need to be efficient in your hours of study to make time for it. However, as I mentioned in my video on the GAMSAT scores about having no loan scheme in Ireland, working may currently be the only way to fund med for some students. Heading into the hospital, rounds with the cardiology team started at about 8am and ran for nearly 4 hours that morning. That left just enough time to take a couple of histories from patients, grab some lunch and head to the student case presentation, which is every Monday at 1pm. This was followed by our core teaching sessions where doctors from different teams in the hospital taught us key concepts related to their specialty. I wish this was sponsored advertising, sadly it's not, but for those of you either thinking about med school or you're already in your preclinical years, many of you may have come across this unbelievable remote. I think it's called the 8-Bit Do. You can get it on Amazon, it's about 18 euro and it's unreal. It means you can sit and just click through your cards without having to press all the buttons on your laptop. So after our core lectures and doing some work in the hospital library, I headed over to UL Medical School where I was practicing for Simulation Wars with my team. Sim Wars is an emergency medicine simulation competition held internally within each school in Ireland and nationally where teams of five from each university compete to manage a variety of medical emergencies. The team is made up of students ranging from first to final year, so anyone can sign up. I finally got a chance to participate this year and if you have the opportunity to get involved at any stage of medical school I would highly recommend it. Great learning and great fun. Coming home Monday evening and this is what I land myself in. I wish I could play the audio for the first bit of this but it has uh, Spider-Man music so if you can imagine that as uh, Mark jumps up on a chair. Fairly standard Monday evening I'd say in our house. Oh my god! <laughs> you okay? Oh. Fuck, oh man. shit! Fuck. Oh god! <laughs> Look at the man! <laughs> Zay just continues to prepare a fucking bowl of cereal! <laughs> oh my god! Fucking hell! Okay, good morning. It's Tuesday, 21st. Also, I wish I had my scrubs today, but I didn't put on a wash, so it's going to have to be a fluffy jumper and shirt and chinos, which is not ideal, but it's fine. I went to rounds in the morning again, then headed back to the hospital library to get some work done. One of the skills on placement that takes some getting used to is balancing clinical activities with study. I try my best to treat placement days like work days, so filling gaps or less busy times in the day with study. Of course you always have to allow yourself a coffee break and I wondered where all my tutoring money went. That afternoon we had basic life support training. We have all completed this before but you have to update your certification every other year. Right, heading out in pretty good time. Some days I find I can study late, like when I'm doing my USMLE stuff. I can do it quite late in the library of the hospital. And some days I kind of prefer to do some work from home. So today's one of those days where because I have a lot going on, like even tomorrow, my simulation practice is in the hospital as well, where sometimes it's in UL, the actual 
School of Medicine, so because of that, I'm going to work from home today because I'll have a long day tomorrow anyway. So after a long day at the hospital, I headed home to a really nice sunset outside my room. I then went and had my vegan lasagna, which was continuing to be absolutely lovely, even microwave multiple days after I cooked it. Good morning, Good Wednesday. I am slightly late today, so we get lunch together and get moving. Um, so I'm going to get in in about 20 minutes. The, oh, another rainy day with Limerick, which is brilliant. So a similar kind of morning, I headed to the acute cardiac care unit where we had morning rounds for cardiology and I then headed to the library to get some more work done. One of the tasks I wanted to get done in the early morning was updating my tutor profile on MedicMind, which is where I am advertised as a GAMSAT tutor. That evening, I had sim practice with the team at the hospital. There are six scenarios to prepare for the internal competition, which include MI with or without arrest, sepsis, trauma, TBI slash seizure, anaphylaxis, and asthma attack. Wow, very dark. But, so just had practice there, it's now about, I assume a little after seven, and happy with how it's going. I've really enjoyed the Sim more stuff. I do hope that I can uh, make it onto the national team, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, the lighting's terrible, I should really wait till I get home, but we'll give it a go. I just got an email there to say that I'm gonna be doing, my name was drawn to do this interdisciplinary kind of simulation that we're gonna do on Friday, and for three hours, uh, it's kind of it's to do with the school it's a different kind of simulation it's with uh, kind of physios and nurses students that is uh, medical students and I think there might even be OTs and everything so it's a real uh, should be really interesting I'm, I'm curious to see how it goes another busy day done it was time to head home and chill with the lads we threw on the TV and it was at that moment that Mark decided you know what the evening can only get better in one way and that was to build a fire. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. Give me a high five. No, absolutely not. Come on, let's do it for the vine. For the vine. Do it for the vine. <laughs> Look at this, man. Someone has to do it. Look at this. Look at it. He only does it on camera, lads. Oh, my Look gosh. at this. I'll get a real cinematic thing. Oh, it's, 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 like, it's, like, it's like a cocktail. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Oh. Oh. Let's see, look at that. Ready? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> someone this morning, which was so cool. brilliant day I've really enjoyed it to be fair I've learned a lot and still not done one other thing is I just got sent the sample book cover for the book that I was talking about yesterday although it was in the dark in my car so I'm not sure whether I'll use that or this but 
I am now officially on the cover of a published book for the GAMSAT, which is amazing. I still obviously tutor day to day, as you'll have seen in this vlog, but it's also great to have had uh, got all the hard work I've been doing with Medic Mind over the last two years pay off and, and, and have something like that is brilliant for my applications kind of going forward. I used to be scared of these as a kid, by the way. Just saying. Both got my fear. Heading back to the cath lab after our bedside tutorial, we normally have one to two of these per week. We sign up in groups of about four or five people to different time slots where one of our clinical tutors takes us to a patient they have found that have agreed to see us. They often have common signs or exam findings that the tutor wants us to notice. Typically one student takes a history, another does the exam. If there is something particular the tutor wants us to make note of or examine we will all get the chance. We then leave the patient and the tutor talks to us and ask questions about the case and key topics associated with it. There are also many learning points we are expected to take away and learn from. I quite enjoyed these sessions and got a lot of value from them. With the day finally finished in the cath lab, I made my way back to CERC, which is the educational research facility at University Hospital Limerick, where the library, sim labs, our lockers are all located. Okay, so we've got out at a reasonable hour. I just walked out with two of the lads there. Um, my roommate's actually gonna come to soccer, which is quite nice. Really good day overall. I just saw a pacemaker get put in, so I had a great variety today. So an ICD get put in and I saw um, a pacemaker get put in. So good learning, good to see and good to, I definitely think those kind of things that you see practically stick in your head for a long, long time. So yeah, happy with that. And all, a couple of other interesting things are like the loop extraction and um, some angiograms as well. So plenty in the day. Home, I'm tired. We've got to push on. We've got to push on. Got my interdisciplinary session tomorrow. The consultant that was in the catalog today is doing rounds tomorrow morning. So I kind of wish I could do the rounds in full, but I also think this interdisciplinary session for from 9 to 12 tomorrow should be really interesting. So, um, yeah, that's that's me for now. Let's get to soccer. One of the best things about being placed largely in Limerick for my third year was that I could keep up my football of a Tuesday and Thursday with MedSoc. It is a great way after a long day of study or placement just to clear the head. And for anyone that is a diehard fan of this channel, you'll know that this is old footage I didn't actually film on the day of football. So this is footage from my week in the life from first year, but nonetheless, same pitch and uh, I'm sure a similar level of football. Friday in the hospital was more of the same. Rounds, speak to a couple of patients and some study. We did have hospital grand rounds from one to two, where a speaker of the week talks about their area of expertise or research. This has been anyone from consultants in the hospital to the CEO of the HSE. They're often very interesting, though not the type of content that will be in our exams. After placement, I headed home to grab some food and then had one final evening of practice with the same team. All the teams need a name that's often a pun related to medicine, so let me know in the comments what you think of ours. Uh, immediately proceed to the national competition in Dublin in March. 2023, UL Sim champion is... We didn't win, but had a great night out that evening with all the teams. Thanks to Mill for watching and supporting the channel. I hope this one gave you guys an insight into the life on placement. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.